We all want our footage to have that big budget cinematic look, but achieving that Hollywood feel doesn't happen by accident. You need to be intentional and in control of your images. Here are five essential tips to make your footage look more professional and cinematic. Nothing screams amateur like a wide depth of field where everything is in focus. A shallow depth of field where only a specific part of the image is sharp is visually appealing, and it also directs your viewer's attention. You can use this technique to focus on a person's reaction or, in a crime scene, for example, sharply focus on the weapon while keeping the rest of the scene soft, guiding your viewer's eyes directly where you want them. To achieve a shallow depth of field, set your aperture to be wide open. The wider the aperture, the shallower the depth of field. Faster lenses, such as an f1.3 or an 1.8, are ideal for this. If you have a slower lens, you can still create a shallow depth of field by getting close to the subject or zooming in as much as possible with a telephoto lens. Now, don't forget to adjust your other settings to maintain the proper exposure. Few things are as distracting to viewers as shaky, uncontrolled shots. Even when shooting handheld, camera movement should be smooth and subtle. Any movement should serve a purpose and remain unnoticed, even in chaotic scenes like fights or chase, where handheld might add a sense of realism, the movement should not pull the viewers out of the story. Think of camera movement as guiding your audience on a journey. You're saying, follow me, I have something to show you. Make sure that at the end of the movement, you reward them with something worthwhile. Use tools like gimbals, sliders, jibs, and easy rigs to help you keep your shot stable. If you can't achieve smooth movement, it's better to leave the camera stationary than to risk shaky footage. Good composition can transform your footage from ordinary to cinematic. One way to engage your audience is by showing them a familiar subject from an unexpected angle. Instead of defaulting to eye level, challenge yourself to find interesting perspective, whether it's from a low or a high angle, and include foreground elements to create depth. Learn and apply composition techniques like the rule of thirds or symmetry, leading lines, and vanishing points. These techniques help create a balanced, visually compelling image. Always take time to carefully frame your shots and avoid the temptation to rush through your composition. Thoughtful framing will elevate your footage to a more professional level. A flat image lacks depth and often looks low quality. One of the most effective ways to add depth and character to your shots is by controlling your contrast ratio, the balance between highlights, midtones, and shadows. This involves more than just achieving proper exposure. It's about intentionally shaping the light to create the contrast you envision. As a filmmaker or even as a one-man band, learning to manipulate light and contrast ratio will take your footage to the next level. Personally, I like high contrast ratio, like a 5 to 1 or a 6 to 1, which give a more dramatic cinematic feel. You can use tools like the EL Zone system to measure the contrast ratio in your shots, and you can achieve higher contrast by using additional lighting on your subjects. Lastly, color grading is a powerful tool to give your footage a unique and cinematic look. But remember, you can't make a bad shot look incredible just in post-production. Grading is about enhancing what you've already captured, not fixing mistakes. The goal is to amplify your footage, adjusting contrast, saturation, and to find the tone that fits the mood of your story. So for example, if you're shooting in a location with strong sunlight, like here in Arizona, you might want to push the color towards a warm, bright tone to emphasize the heat and brightness. Always make sure your grading choices complement the overall feel of your project. By incorporating these five elements into your production, you'll elevate your work to a more professional level and create footage that feels truly cinematic. Now, thanks for watching this video until the end. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you my free camera setting cheat sheet. Just follow the link below to download my free cheat sheet. Thanks again, and happy filming.